It sits perfectly camouflaged among the rocks until it's discovered. Then it flashes its brilliant warning and releases its toxic bite. This is the blue-ringed octopus. There are at least five different species of this octopus, all living in the tidal rock pools along Australia's southern coast. The blue-ringed octopus spends its days hiding in crevices or under rocks. People rarely come in contact with them. There have been just three fatalities in the last century. But at night, the tiny mollusk hunts. It subdues small fish and crabs with its paralyzing venom, either injecting directly into the prey itself or into the water around it. Once frozen, the blue-ringed octopus chops up the victim with its powerful beak and begins to feast. the octopus is yellow with dark brown rings. But when provoked, the rings burst into bright peacock blue. This change in color stems from a collection of elastic ink-filled sacs known as chromatophores. Located directly under the skin, the sacs stretch when the octopus is threatened, releasing the blue pigment to the surface. When the threat passes, the sacs shrink and the pigment disappears. Most bites to humans occur when they try to handle the octopus. By the time the creature changes color, it's too late. The blue-ringed octopus's parrot-like beak can easily puncture the skin and the muscle beneath. The bite itself is relatively painless, but the venom is 10,000 times more toxic than cyanide and fast-acting. It attacks and freezes the victim's muscles, triggering the immediate loss of taste, touch and sight. Left untreated, paralysis and respiratory failure can follow. Just one bite can kill an adult in 90 minutes, all from a creature the size of a golf ball. There's no known antidote, but heart massage and artificial respiration can move the toxins through the body and prevent long-term damage.